welcome back to Zach's Garage. In today's video, we are back on the Bayliner boat restoration, and the time has finally come for us to start building our back seat and engine cover. So don't go anywhere. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now many of you may be wondering which design I decided on for the engine cover and back seats. And I did think about the feedback that everyone left on the previous video and deciding whether I should do jump seats or a full bench seat. And let me just say there were a lot of comments. But the people have spoken. And in the end I decided on building a full bench seat with the sun deck engine cover. So before we can go and buy the supplies we need, we need to figure out how much wood we're gonna need to build this bench back here. So let me just take some quick measurements to find out what the dimensions are gonna be. Our width is gonna be 68 inches. So for the height, I'm gonna get it level with this back wall, which is about 26 inches. And I decided to cut this height in half evenly to have 13 inches for the back of the seat and 13 inches for the bottom of the seat up off the deck. So after taking the measurements, I was able to draw out a diagram and calculate how much wood I was gonna need. And then it was time to go get it all from Home Depot. In total, we spent about $38 at Home Depot. And we got nine eight foot one by twos and one eight foot two by two. And lastly, one eight foot by four foot sheet of quarter inch sanded plywood. When I was coming up with this design, I had three main requirements. One, that it actually works. Two, that it's removable and three, that it's lightweight. And the first part of the seat I'm constructing is gonna be the support that goes underneath where you sit. So for spacing these pieces out, I just spaced them as evenly as possible, but it honestly doesn't need to be exact. And for fastening everything together, I'm just going to be using a nail gun. how comfy this back seat is oh man this is awesome whoa might need a little bit of support now the cool thing about this if we were to weigh this bad boy on the scale here you notice it is only three pounds and five ounces which is lighter than just one three foot two by four that weighs a whopping three pounds and 14 ounces, nearly four pounds. So it's pretty crazy to think we've got this six foot wide structure for our seat that weighs less than just one three foot two by four. So now let's see how this bad boy is gonna look in the boat. Alright, so here we go. 
it fits into place just right. I think it's going to need a little bit more. The next thing I'm going to do now is start building the actual seat part that's going to go on top of this support here. And for deciding how deep to make the seat, I used the depth of our kitchen table chairs, which are 16 inches deep. And again, I'm just spacing out the pieces evenly on the frame. This one comes in at a whopping three pounds and 14 ounces. So that's almost exactly the same as that three foot two by four piece there. All right, now it's time to give this bad boy a try and see how well it sits. Well, the first thing I notice is it doesn't like to uh, stay upright very well. Now notice it does seem a little bit wobbly here, but now the next thing we're going to do is make it so these pe pieces stick together really well, really solidly with the trick I'm going to try out using some triangles. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Dang, it's close. I just need to shave a little more on these channels here. Well, after cutting the piece three or four more times, I finally got it to now that it'll fit. And now that we have the triangle brace in place, it holds both of those framing structures together and makes them much more rigid. These pieces are just locked together now, perpendicular. So it's going to make it really firm right there. That's going to help support the load if somebody's just sitting on the edge of the seat. But now the next thing is, is once we're fastening it into the boat, if we just have it fastened here at the bottom, somebody goes to sit on the edge, that's going to want to tilt this whole thing forward. So to handle that force and to make the whole thing even more rigid, I'm going to add something even better than triangles. I'm going to add squares.
Well, I gotta say, the triangle and squares do help hold these framing pieces together much more rigidly, but we don't even have them nailed in yet. I am going to do that after I get some plywood on it, but this is where we're going to stop for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like on this video. And if you want to find out what happens next, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. But I just want to say thank you for watching and I will see you next time.